Yeah, FL Studio provides a couple of keyboard shortcuts with regard to patterns, working with the patterns. To do that, first you need to disable the typing keyboard to piano keyboard key here. If I click it, it's enabled. If I click it again, it's disabled. So what that does is it makes your, I mean, if it's enabled, it makes your keyboard, which is your computer keyboard, to function as a MIDI keyboard. And if you disable, well, your computer keyboard will work like a computer keyboard. Okay, so disable that. And uh, right now, by default, we are on pattern 1. Okay, so right now, we are in pattern 1. So let me go ahead and input some data for pattern 1. We are in pattern 1. And if I want to create a next pattern, okay. So to do that, if I press F4, it opens next pattern. Also, it wants me to name it. So I'm going to leave it as pattern 2, okay. Now, what will happen if I press F4 again? It should open pattern 3, right? No. Since pattern 2 is still empty, if I press F4 again, it makes it as pattern 3. Okay. And it also opens the naming box. I'm going to keep it as pattern 3. Okay. So, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the numlock keypad, meaning that enabling the numlock button. And then I'm going to use plus or minus keys. So if I press minus, it renamed that one to pattern two. Okay. If I press plus, it's renaming it to pattern three plus again pattern four. Okay. Pattern five. Why it's renaming that pattern? Because that pattern is empty. Okay. So minus. So if I press one more minus, it's going to delete pattern two it, because it's empty. And if I press minus pattern one. Okay, and if I press plus, it's going to do the same thing that F4 did. Only thing is, it won't open the name, pattern name box. Okay, so it opened. I just pressed plus and it opened pattern 2. Okay, and it opened pattern 2 because pattern 1 is not empty. So now... Let me put some data for pattern 2. Okay. Now, if I press plus, it will open pattern 3. Okay. So, let me put some more data for pattern 3. If I press plus, pattern 4. Okay. So, I have put data. Now, if I press minus, it's going to go to pattern 3. Pattern 2, Pattern 1. Okay, if you press plus, Pattern 2, Pattern 3, Pattern 4. Now if you press plus, Pattern 5. So, if I'm on Pattern 3, right, I can use the plus minus button to move between the patterns. Okay, so this pattern number 1, 2, 3, 4, will remain even if you rename the patterns for example i'm gonna press f2 to rename i'm gonna use i'm gonna call it as asd okay press plus press f2 i'm gonna call it as fgh okay press plus F2. I'm going to call it as JKL. I'm just following the keyboard. Press enter. Plus F2. I'm going to call it as QWE. Press enter. Okay. So now I'm on JKL. If I press minus, it will go to FGH because it knows that's pattern 2. 
if you press minus it will go to asd okay so these are small keyboard tricks thank you for watching